The Siri theory, uh, as some have called it, or the cardinal Siri thesis, is an evolving idea, okay? I mean, it, it has been going on for years now, and it has the idea that um, the conclave of 1958, um, when Pope Pius XII died, originally elected Cardinal Siri of Genoa, not John the Twenty-Third, Cardinal Siri of Genoa. The idea was that um, the straw was burned, the white smoke came out of the chimney, people saw that, Habemus Papa, we have a Pope, they were rejoicing, and then all of a sudden, the black smoke, smoke followed the white, and everybody realized, oh, I guess we don't have a Pope, right? And so it's a fact that that happened. It's not really conceded as a fact. There are even photographs. And so uh, there was confusion. Now, this has become part of a narrative of the whole idea that um, something happened in that conclave that was very nefarious, being this, that Cardinal Siri, having been duly elected by the cardinals, was warned not to accept the papacy. Because if he did, <clears throat> there would be terrible retribution from the Freemasons. This is the story. That the Freemasons threatened Cardinal Siri. Whether they threatened him, whether they would wreak havoc with the church, that they would murder his family or whatever it was. I don't know the nature of the threats. I'm sure somebody now has come up with something <laughs> to explain that. Um, but the Cardinal Siri, this was the original story that I got by way back when, years and years ago. Cardinal Siri, intimidated by these terrible threats, thought, well, it would be a very serious mistake to accept this, so he rejected the papacy and would not become the Pope and accept the, uh, the office as Vicar of Christ in the, in, the, in the Church. And that the Freemasons basically then took over the, the, the conclave and arranged for John the Twenty Third to be. John the Twenty Third supposedly was a compromised candidate because he was up in years, he wasn't going to last long. They, they'd elect him within three or four years, he would be gone, and then they could actually try again to elect a pope who would make a difference. This is the conventional wisdom, such as it is. Um, the fact is, though, there are so many, um, so many problems with that theory that, 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 that render the whole thing null and void and nothing but a, 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 a grotesque distraction from what's actually happening to the church today. Why are people talking about this? They're looking for an explanation. They're desperately trying to find an explanation for what's happening today. Um, and this is what they've come up with based upon a, basically a handful of circumstances um, that probably would constitute the, the, the theme of a good novel, but they do not constitute reality. Okay? And what I was telling people back then when this was first presented to me in the, in the terms I just mentioned to you, look, even if Cardinal Siri was elected by the uh, unanimous vote of the Cardinals, if he did not accept that election, he was never the Pope. He had to, uh, everyone who's elected uh, by the College of Cardinals has to formally accept the office of the papacy because of the, it's a tremendous responsibility. Uh, he cannot be intruded by others into the papacy against his will. <clears throat> so um, we, know, we know that historically, even those who have accepted the papacy have, have resigned from it. Right? So, I mean, uh, they made a big deal about Benedict resigning, but there have been popes in the past, uh, several popes in the past have resigned from the papacy, among them a saint, Saint Celestine V in the 1200s. So, uh, again, nobody can hold the, uh, holds the papacy against his will. And not only that, but I mentioned, look, if, if Cardinal Siri was elected the pope, if he was elected and didn't accept it because he was afraid of the threats that were being leveled against him, then be thankful to God that he did not accept the papacy because the church doesn't need a pope who can be terrified into rejecting the papacy because of the threats that are leveled against him. I mean, what kind of a pope would that man be if it would be controlled by threats? It would be a disaster as a pope. I've had a conversation with someone recently about this. And they've refined the storyline of this to say, oh, well, he did accept the papacy, but then this happened, or, you know, they, they, 
they found more to the story. They're always finding more and more to the story, okay? To try to answer the objections, but they're just fabricating these, these things that happened or might have happened in their own minds to justify this and justify that, because they don't want to let this go. Oh, by the way, then the question came, well, what about, what about him dying then? I mean, if he, if he had been the Pope, legitimately the Pope, and he was in, intimidated into backing off, I mean, he lived for years after. The conclave never said a thing about being the real Pope. Never. Oh, no. Saying, oh, well, I was really the one who was elected. It wasn't really that. John the 23rd there. Well, now, here's their explanation. Well, before he died, he appointed someone as his successor. And you say, well, wait a minute. A Pope can't appoint his successor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go back to uh, Pope Leo the Ninth or whatever it was. And there's historical question about whether he actually succeeded. He actually did appoint his successor. So they're bringing up all of these things that are very much out of the ordinary, very disputed, okay? Um, the idea that he have elected, if he were elected, appointed any cardinals. I mean, there's no, there's, there's no answer to these things because the, the question itself is, is just contrived. Mm -hmm. So I would just tell people, look, um, don't go chasing bubble, soap bubbles, okay? Um, looking desperately for some kind of an explanation as to what's going on, because you'll you'll wind up with the wrong, you'll wind up in the wrong place. You'll wind up with 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 the wrong answers, and generally wind up outside the faith, as some people did when they started electing their own pope out in Montana, who was living in a mobile home out there, became Pius the Thirteenth, right? So uh, when we have to be very careful about, uh, you know, chasing, chasing rainbows of people, scenarios, far-fetched scenarios. No, I don't, I don't subscribe to the Siri uh, thesis at all, mm. and I think it's dangerous to, to do so. It can lead us very much in the wrong direction.